Hello, welcome to the dental practice. I'm Laura, and I'm your brand new dental hygienist. So I've been looking through your notes and it says that you're quite a nervous patient. So I just want to put your mind at rest and let you know that everything is going to be alright, okay? okay? I want you to just take some nice, deep breaths, okay? Just relax. Just, just relax. You are in safe hands with me. I promise you. Now, nothing that I'm going to do today is going to hurt you in any way. There won't be any drilling or anything like that. I'm literally going to be looking in your mouth, making sure everything's how it should be. Okay. Just doing some cleaning and some scraping. And just going through your oral hygiene and how you clean your teeth and you know just to find out what's going on with your mouth okay okay so do you feel a bit more calm now just relaxing a little bit more yeah and I want you to know that you're not alone seriously I see so many patients that are nervous and scared you've just got to tell yourself that everything is gonna be all right and it might not feel like it, but you are always, always in control, okay? For any moment you would like to stop, just raise your hand and I will stop, okay? So that'll be our kind of secret code to one another. You want me to stop? Just raise your hand, okay? Okay, good. Right, so what I'm going to do first is just have a good look inside your mouth. So if you could open nice and wide for me, okay? Good. good. It's good. Now, it does seem quite red over here on the gums. Mm-hmm. And over here, okay, I've got some staining on the teeth over there. Okay. Okay, so what I'm seeing is um, a little bit of plaque that's built up, okay? A bit of staining. Do you smoke? You do, yeah? Okay, well, I'm not going to nag you, but really try and stop smoking. Apart from the obvious bad health warnings that are on cigarettes, um, and they can also really, really damage your teeth. Okay, staining, and at some points, if it gets really bad, there could be tooth loss. Okay, so really try and knock the, the smoking on the head. Okay, okay. Um, also, I can see your gums are quite sore and red in certain certain areas. Do you have any bleeding when you're brushing your teeth or when you're eating? Yeah, okay, so when you're brushing, mm -hmm. and is it bleeding in certain areas or, yeah, so it's the top, down the bottom, okay, any sides, yeah, a little bit over there, yeah, okay, right, so any other problems, any toothache or any sensitivity problems, yeah, a little bit of sensitivity, and does that just kind of come on or is that when you eat or drink certain foods so cold stuff sets it off yeah okay, that's quite a normal a normal thing but obviously if the sensitivity does kind of carry on longer than it should do um, apart from the odd occasional sensitivity we do really need to look into the more kind of problem with that and you know the, the real reason why that's happening there could be an underlining problem but that's something you you would take up with the dentist himself okay um, but yeah, everything seems okay. Um, without being disrespectful, obviously it's my job and you know, I'm always honest with my patients. I am detecting a little bit of bad breath, okay? So it's not like majorly bad, but there is a little bit of an odour, okay? But we'll sort that out today and I can help you for future reference with oral hygiene to, uh, to combat that problem. It's a very common problem, so don't be embarrassed, honestly. 
honestly, no, no, don't, don't be embarrassed. It's fine. Um, we all, we all suffer it, whether we've had some spicy food or, yeah. Oh, bless you. Was it a nice lunch though? No, maybe it was worth a bit of bad breath then. <laughs> I know. There's something lovely about garlic bread at the time. Afterwards, not so much. <laughs> but that's fine. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a little bit of scraping, okay? Now, please don't be frightened. I, know, I can tell you look a bit scared when you see this object. It's Honestly, it's fine. It's just a little scraper. And it looks scary, but I promise it's not. Okay, I'm just going to gently scrape um, just some of your teeth. I don't need to do all of them, just just a little bit, okay? Now, if, as I say, you don't want me to carry on, just raise your hand and I will stop, okay? Good, good, okay. Just relax. Good. Okay. Right, so I'm not going to do any more scraping today. Okay. Now, what I want to do is ask you just a few questions. How often do you brush your teeth? Do you do it once a day or? Okay, so sometimes twice. Right, so what we need to do, <laughs> sorry, I don't want to nag at you, um, but it is important that you brush your teeth twice a day. Once in the morning and twice, um, twice, <laughs> once in the morning and secondly at night. Okay, so as you wake up, nice brush, and before you go to bed at night, nice brush. Okay, okay. Now, I know it's hard, sometimes we're tired, or we just forget we can't be bothered but it really really is important and I stress that that we do brush twice a day okay, okay. and what kind of brush are you using soft good yeah the soft bristles I think are definitely gonna be better for you because there is that kind of soreness with the gums okay um, what I want you to do it sounds a bit strange but I want you to just show me how you would brush your teeth obviously there's no toothpaste on this or anything you know I just want to sort of see how, how you're doing it okay so there you go right okay yep I'll stop you there I can see where you're going wrong what you're doing you're brushing way way too fast it's that kind of rushed manic brushing a lot of people do um, and they think it's fine but it's really damaging your gums and it's not actually cleaning your teeth properly because you're just rushing through the process so if I just take that for you thank you what you're really looking to do just do that is just go slowly slowly nice circular motions each section of your mouth just nice and slowly we're going up and down round and round down and just like that now do you see within seconds you can notice that difference yeah instead of going really fast just take it really really slowly obviously not too slow so you're like that just kind of this kind of pace just nice and slowly okay good good do you use any mouthwash or anything? Just okay, just a cheapy mouthwash. Okay, um, well I've got a really good mouthwash here actually. Now this this is really good. I really really like this mouthwash. 
a lot of my patients use this and like it, it's very effective. Um, so this is Dentil Active and this is in smooth mint flavour. Now this uh, is really clever because you actually see the results in the sink. Um, so basically shake it, then shake it about 20 seconds. See, it's all starting to kind of fizz up. Okay, now once you've shaken it, you just pour a little bit in the cap, you gargle it about 30 seconds, and then just spit in the sink. Okay, and you'll see all the plaque, the dirt, excess food that's been left in the mouth all come out in the sink. It's it's really in a weird way, I'm a hygienist, I can get excited about oral hygiene, <laughs> but it's it's really cool, it's, it's a great idea, you can actually see the evidence as such and just feel better about your mouth knowing that it's, you know, it's really fresh, fresh and clean. It leaves a lovely taste and a really nice, lovely breath as well, a nice minty, minty breath. Okay, so... Also, I'm going to ask you if you know what one of these is. Tongue scraper, correct. Do you use one? No, you used to. You don't anymore. And why don't you use it anymore? Just got bored of using it. Okay, it's really important that we use something to uh, really combat the tongue issues. Um, what I have here is this. It's an aura brush. Show you the packaging here. These are quite new and they're really, really good and effective. Okay, now on the packaging, you can see there's a little green bristles there. They do that so if you're buying them in a shop, you can test the brush obviously because the packaging is covering the real brush. But just get the feel of the brush, what it feels like. So if you just want to run your, your fingers along that. You can just, yeah, it's like a, yeah, like a rubbery feel. It's not like um, a toothbrush. It's more rubbery, soft, but effective, okay? So, basically what you do, you put it, you make sure your tongue's nice and wet. So this is after you've washed your teeth, okay? So make sure the tongue's nice and moist and wet. And you've got the scraper at the top, and then you've got, the brush, the soft brush, over here. So what you're going to do, you're going to open the mouth as wide as you can and you just literally put it right to the back of the tongue, as far back as you can go obviously, and then just pull forward and keep doing those motions, okay? Back, front, back towards the front, back towards the front. Now some people do suffer with gag reflex problems, um, a lot of my patients do, but once you get used to it, it's fine. It's just that initial first few goes um, of using this and getting really far back that can be a bit horrible. But once you get used to it, it's fine and it's really, really beneficial uh, for your mouth and oral hygiene, especially like with the breath. Um, a lot of people think bad breath is from the teeth, but it's actually a lot of it comes from the tongue. There's kind of like food and stuff left on the tongue, and yeah, we can brush our tongues, but you've got to really use something like this to actually get everything off okay they're really 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 good and um, what I'll do at the end um, I'll give you some bits to take home and, and practice and get to use okay okay also what I want you to use is one of these these are um, a super into space they're very very good brushes and they're meant for uh, cleaning around kind of awkward areas so I noticed you had uh, a crown actually two crowns got one over there one down over there um, so obviously a normal brush it's hard to get in around those areas but a brush like this is a lot better because it gets in those fiddly little bits that you can't get with a normal size brush so I'm going to use one of those today when we do your cleaning and I'm also going to give you one to take home as well okay 
Right, so are you ready to uh, just do some cleaning? Yeah. Remember, if you don't don't want to carry on, just raise your hand. I will stop. I promise. Um, so I'm going to use this toothpaste. This is Colgate Advance, and uh, it's great for uh, getting rid of tartar, staining. Obviously, with the smoke in there, it can help with the staining problems and bad breath, gum problems, cavities, plaque, etc. And it leaves a really nice, clean, minty taste as well. So I'm going to use this brush here. I'm just going to put some on. And let's see if you can just open nice and wide for me. <laughs> and just relax. Just relax. Just nice circular motions. And then up and down, Go very gently, not rushing, just taking your time, just like that. really good okay surround that bit okay open a little bit wider for me good okay now I'm gonna give you some water just wanna give a little swig of that nice fresh water okay and then gargle your mouth a little bit the water and you just wanna spit into that little sink there Oh, don't be embarrassed. Honestly, people always think that you know it's an embarrassing thing to do, the whole spitting it out thing. But it's fine. It's part of my job. I'm used to it. So if I'm not embarrassed, you shouldn't be embarrassed. <laughs> okay. Right. So now what I want you to do, and this will be your you know new routine when you get home and stuff. Um, I want to use this. Okay. So you still put in a little bit of toothpaste. On the end there, and just going to work through those little awkward areas there. So you can get nicely up there. There we go. Good, you're doing really well. I'm so I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. back okay and just rinse around and then spit out when you're ready okay. brilliant okay we just open wide for me going to use your tongue or a brush okay so there's no toothpaste that goes on here or anything it's literally just the brush and your tongue's nice and wet and moist okay so we're going back oh you're right yeah good and pulling that forward 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 Forward, forward, forward. I know this isn't going to be very nice to look at, but it is important. So, if you can look 
see all at the top there is where all the gunk has come out from your tongue I know it's not really nice but it, it does prove to you that it's doing it how it should so okay so you'd obviously rinse that out thoroughly afterwards before you use the next time okay right, so I'm just gonna Try that, there you go, it's a nice fresh mouthwash. And just gargle, gargle, gargle. Good. That's it. And when you're ready, that's it. Just spit it out there. And you'll see in the sink if there's any. There you go, look, there's a few little bits, but there's not that much because I've been cleaning them. <laughs> but if you do that every day, you'll notice and you'll think, oh, you know, that's nice and clear. Oh, there's a bit in there. So the next day, you just improve the cleaning again, and it's a, it's a great telltale sign of how you're doing with your oral hygiene. Actually, that mouthwash. It does taste nice, yeah. And if you just breathe on me there, hmm, a lot better. Seriously, really fresh and really, really like really clean. Brilliant. Okay, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give you this little toothpaste sample to take with you. This is the Colgate Sensitive Pro Relief, so I know you get a little few issues with the old sensitivity. Um, so I'll give you this to take with and try. I'm also going to give you the oil brush. Obviously, this isn't there's nothing in that one, but <laughs> I'll go out the back and get one. Um, I'll give you the oil brush, and I'll give you one of these little super into uh, space brushes as well. Okay. And I'm also going to give you a bottle of um, the Dentio Active, okay? Now we've got fresh mint, uh, this is fresh smooth mint, or um, we've also got spearmint, so what do you prefer? Spearmint, yeah? Okay, yeah, it does the same thing, it's just a um, different taste, so no, that's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to update your records and you are good to go. Um, I would like to see you again another four months from now. Do you think you'll be a bit better coming next time? I won't be as nervous. Yay! <laughs> oh, brilliant. Um, yeah, I'm just going to update your notes. Okay, I'm going to put that you're very good. You've definitely improved with your anxiety. <laughs> um, when are you due to see the dentist? Oh, actually, I can look at your notes. Hold on. Ah, okay, so you're due to see the dentist in two months, so... Yeah, make sure you come. I know you're nervous, but you've done really well today. Okay, and he's a lovely man, so he'll calm you down as well, okay? Okay. Right, so I'll see you in four months' time. And um, when you go out, just book an appointment around that time, yeah? Excellent, okay. And uh, what I'll do, I'll come out with you, go at the back and get one of your little aura brushes, okay? All right. We've done really, 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 really well. <laughs>